Ladies and gentlemen, the man to my left is a, is a born leader. As a freshman, he led, led the Syracuse Orangemen to a national championship, and right now in New York, he's trying to lead the Knicks back to the promised land for the first time in over 40 years. This is Carmelo Anthony. Welcome to Cali Presents. Thank you. I appreciate that, my man. Thank I'm you. I'm very excited. You're very excited. Absolutely. As a leader, you're, you're like expected to do more. You know, Absolutely. go that extra mile. Now, since being here in New York, if you could put that into a distance, how many extra miles have you gone since being here? Like, are you in New Jersey? Is it like Connecticut, or have you made like made I'm, it to Canada? I mean, I'm I'm not to Canada yet. If we going south, okay, I'm probably like in Philly right now. Right. My destination is Miami. Okay. Ah, okay. I like that. And Carmelo Anthony has not missed. This is an out of body experience for Carmelo Anthony. Fabulous. Fifty points now. Carmelo Anthony with fifty. Melo, he hanged fifty on the Heat last night. So what you're saying is you're constantly working. Nas once said sleep is the cousin of death. Sleep is the cousin. I sleep with one eye open, so it, uh, you can never, <laughs> <laughs> I never really get any sleep. Just like, it's yeah, just, just this. Just right? one eye open all day. Are you the dude that when you are motivating yourself, do you have like a quote or a thing that you say to yourself, that you repeat to yourself when you're in like the battle? Well, uh, there's no, no quote that I, that I say. I mean, the gym that I work out in, uh, the boxing gym, I actually have quotes all over the gym. Right. You know, so that, that's what I'm looking at. That's what I'm constantly reminding myself of. Boxing, an unbelievable workout. Yep. You work yourself into a lather. Now take it into the court. Do you know when you are working hard by the amount that you sweat? I don't really, I don't really sweat like that. You I don't? don't? Really, I don't really sweat like, You're like that. You like James Bond? You just I mean, I sweat, but not, not too much. I, I know people that sweat a lot, but for me, I'm not really, uh, a big, a big sweater. You're not, is so that, you're, that, you're not that, Patrick Ewing, is what you're saying. No, I'm not Patrick Ewing. Because that Patrick. dude sweat like legit leaders. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not Patrick Ewing. Do you have teammates that you know have worked hard, worked hard based on how they smell? Like after a game, if there's a dude that <laughs> smells like a whole football team, you let like say to yourself like that guy, he worked hard today. But then it could be a guy who haven't worked that smells like a whole football team. So. <laughs> I mean, Hello, who's that guy? I mean, it's just it happens. That's that's the sport. But who's that the we dude? Say the dudes. We don't really have out. we don't really have them dudes in our team. I'm just saying I've been around that that atmosphere before. As an interviewer, you have to be creative. I think you know guys like myself love to be interviewed. At, by people who's very creative and ask totally out the box questions. Like this, this interview right now is kind of fun for me. It's because I have a, a, a lower intelligence. You have a lower intelligence and you have a higher energy, so they kind of balance each other out. Thank you. And you're a Canadian. So Thank I gotta you. I gotta welcome you to New York. Thank you very much, sir.